And we do begin with the breaking news out of Mesquite, where the police officer was shot and killed in the line of duty. I'm Heather Hayes. I'm Steve Eager. Moments ago, Sky 4 was over Baylor Hospital, where officers comforted fellow officers after Mesquite's police chief confirmed one of his officers died on duty. It started when the officer responded to a disturbance call outside a grocery store on Beltline Road in Mesquite. A suspect was also shot, critically wounded. Fox Force Alex Boyer begins our coverage. He's at the hospital. Alex. Hi, guys. That's right. Lots of hugs and tears outside the entrance to the emergency room. You know, Mesquite Police Chief David Gill got all choked up uh, when confirming the death of one of his officers just a short time ago. Uh, the chief uh, was surrounded by several men in blue as he broke the news uh, to reporters and, by extension, the public. Uh, Gill said the 21-year police veteran was shot twice while responding uh, to a disturbance call. Uh, the suspect was shot once. Now, the officer, again, brought here to Baylor in critical condition where the hope was, of course, that uh, he would be stabilized and survive. Sadly, that uh, was not the case. Uh, the officer did die uh, from his injuries. Uh, Chief Gill said the officer was a husband and father. Uh, take a listen to more of what he had to say just a short time ago. Today at 1.40 p.m., officers were dispatched to a disturbance in the 1500 block of South Beltline in Mesquite, Texas, in regards to a disturbance. While investigating the disturbance, a male suspect produced a firearm and there was an exchange of gunfire between the suspect and one of my officers. The officer was struck two times and the suspect was struck once. They were both brought here to Baylor Hospital. My officer is pronounced deceased. The uh, suspect is still being treated and I don't have any information on his condition. Uh, the investigation is ongoing. More information will come out later on today and through the weekend. This was a senseless act of violence that ripped a loving father and husband of his family. He was a 21-year veteran in the Mesquite Police Department. He was a good man, a good friend, a good officer. Please keep his family and our family in your prayers. Thank you. And as we come back out here live here to uh, the emergency room entrance, you may be able to see there in the distance a white van that is a coroner's van that pulled up here just a short time ago and police officers uh, had that van reverse into the bay there. Then we saw a lot of uh, action as officers began to uh, gather around the entrance of the emergency room, which is what you see right now. Obviously, that would indicate that uh, shortly uh, uh, later on this evening uh, that the uh, officer's remains uh, will be loaded into that coroner's van and then taken uh, to the medical examiner's office uh, where that body, of course, uh, uh, will be processed uh, later on this evening. So a sad situation there. Uh, Chief Gill, as you heard him, emotional, uh, asking the community to pray for the officers, to pray for the department. Uh, he said again that more information would be released on the investigation uh, later tonight. But again, as I mentioned, lots of hugs, lots of sad faces here tonight as uh, the news starts to spread that that 21 year veteran with the Mesquite Police Department has died as a result of that shooting. Back to you. All right, Alex, thank you very much. So this all started at an Albertsons grocery store on Beltline Road in Mesquite. And as we heard from Alex, a suspect was also shot and is in critical condition. So we want to go to Fox 4 Sean Rabb to continue our coverage. Sean. Yeah, Heather, and as we begin reporting from where this happened in the parking lot here at Albertsons at uh, Beltline and Cartwright, let me share with you that this is only the second officer in the history of the Mesquite Police Department to lose their lives in the line of duty. And it's been 47 years since it happened on this very same street, Beltline, when an officer was shot and killed as this officer was today. Today, it was officers responding to a domestic disturbance that was taking place in the parking lot. I think we have some video. Maybe you guys can roll the video. Uh, there were three vehicles that we know were involved. A, a, a red pickup truck, a white pickup truck, and an SUV or a, a small SUV. Those three vehicles taken away by police tonight after uh, the investigation of this crime scene. The officer responding to uh, this disturbance of some sort that was taking place here in the parking lot, um, we surmised between three individuals, at least three, in three different vehicles. And uh, we know that a woman was taken away from here by police. We know that the officer and the suspect who shot him, that suspect also shot once, as Alex has reported. 
both taken to the hospital. So that would uh, satisfy the three vehicles. What we don't know yet is what caused it all, what started it all. But we do know uh, some kind of domestic disturbance. And of course, that's that can be a very volcanic mix of emotions and heartache uh, that spill over uh, into the kinds of acts that we've seen take place here today. Uh, the parking lot on a Friday, payday Friday, two o'clock in the afternoon. This Albertsons is always packed and no different again today. There could have been other people hit by random gunfire. We know at least we know at least three shots were fired and maybe more than that. But thankfully, no one else was hit in, in this tragedy that took place in this parking lot today. So there will be lots of investigation uh, into what what happened here, what who all the people were that were involved and what was their nexus to each other and 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 what happened when the officer uh, jumped out of the, the squad car that was we believe it was the SUV we saw parked behind the white pickup truck uh, just how fast was uh, the officers under fire a lot that the Mesquite Department uh, will investigate and unpack uh, the feelings that they have though on this day second officer in the history of this department to lose their life today a little before two o'clock here in the Albertsons parking lot.